Bronx, everybody. Oh, hello, everybody. Make some noise if you have never fucking heard of me before. Make some noise if you did once hear about a drag queen that once shot out an apple. I'm so happy we've met. Hello, everybody. My name is Honey LeBronx, and I'm an alcoholic. Good to have some friends with me. And um, I don't know if she's here. Is she... Did Tina Burner make it tonight or no? She was here. I saw Tina. She, she, she left. Was... Shady bitch. Well, we were all going to read our letters to her anyway, right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Tina Burner, your drinking and drugging has affected our lives negatively in the following ways. I'm just kidding. We are not here to intervene with Tina Burner. We are here to celebrate the death of Payne Sutton, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my god! No! No! no. 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 Three people got that joke and they are living right now. Oh, wait. No. Too bad Payne's not. Fuck the rest of them. First of all, fuck the people that didn't get this. I am not about the 99%. I am a white lady masquerading as a chola. So this is about the 1%. So if you don't get these jokes, elitism. So, um, but yeah, I was very, very shocked when you actually asked me to be a part of this distinguished panel tonight. To be honest, I assumed that you meant to ask for Honey Davenport because, you know, we have the same following. And so, I just assumed... But no, I'm very happy to be part of uh, in kicking off the Night of a Thousand Skeezas. So, thank you so much. Um, I did not get paid enough to memorize my lines, so I'm going to be reading from Tina's uh, intervention letter. But, you know, Keisha, you have meant so much to me in the little time that I've known you, and I just... I just can't roast you. I'm, I'm not very funny, as you're going to find out as the evening goes on. But you know what, I, I will say I may not be the funniest drag queen, I may not be the most popular, and I may not be the prettiest. So there we have that, okay. Um, it is wonderful, though. did I get the butt right? The Keisha butt? Keisha, can you stand up? Can we do a side by side? Can we do a side by side? I want to know, see, I finally figured out, emulating her, where she does her tuck. So you see, what it's right here in the back. So she just puts her penis all the way back there. True. I, yeah, I am a white lady, so my penis does not fit quite that far back. But, uh, but hey, hey, I'll tell you what I am. I am definitely the whitest lady here. No one can take that away from me. And Miss Cracker does not count, despite the name, this bitch has had more black up her ass than, well, than Carrie Kearney. <laughs> the joke is Carrie Kearney's a chocolate chaser. That's, that's the joke. So, but uh, it was such a, you know, when I got the call from you, congratulating me and welcoming me to the Lucky Chang's family, don't look so worried, I have nothing hidden up there tonight. When she called me and hired me to work at Lucky Chang's, I was so tremendously honored until I got to work and saw that you also hired Mahogany. <laughs> oh, wow, this is a wonderful opportunity for Mahogany. <laughs> that sneezy, sneezy bitch. But, um, you know, I will say about that job, that was the most I have ever been paid comparatively to suck a dick. I really... Oh, I made coin there. And you know, you haven't lived until you've had to fight Kim Chi Chi to suck a dick. I learned something like this. There was like a wall right here in the staircase up to the dressing room here. So like, I kind of like see a guy, see some trade. Then Kim Chi Chi appears. I kind of walk over the other side of the wall. Kim Chi Chi appears. It was like Patty Duke doing like the mirrors thing. I'm like, bitch, this one's mine. I got this one. But you know, Keisha Carr, she is not just a drag queen, ladies and gentlemen. She, give it up for the only drag queen I know here tonight, who is also a Broadway star. 
or a swing, or a star, or a swing, or swinging on a star. Or, you know, fuck it. If, if, if Marnie Gould Cummings can call herself a drag queen, you can be a Broadway star. Listen, 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 listen. When you get in drag faster than Ari Kiki. When you literally woke up like this. Drag, it just is not a drag queen make. But you know, in addition to being a Broadway star, she's also a drag mother, which is really, you know, the 12th step is about giving it away. And it has been, ooh, we got some friends in the audience. It has been so fulfilling watching your drag daughter, Tara Grenade, flourish under the generosity of Bob the Drag Queen. <laughs> I mean, seriously? Breathe. You've got to learn to return a phone call. Put a dick down, pick up the phone. You know, I was, where is he? Just a minute, is he? here's just a minute. Fresh from the Broadway third spring national tour of Hairspray, yes, Tracy Turnblad. I didn't even, I had to research you to even roast you tonight because I don't go to see these queens. I didn't even know just a minute was your drag daughter and I'm shocked to know that she even has a drag mother. I mean, frankly, you know, I mean, you know. but you know, who here has not been personally victimized by Jessica <laughs> in some way? Who here has not been inappropriately touched, groped, or fondled by that bitch? Thank True. you. True. Woo! Jessa, can you hear me? Jessa, I'm over here. You make, you will never eat my ass. You will never eat my ass, but bitch, you can always eat your feelings. <laughs> We're wrapping it up. We're gonna wrap it up here. Um, you know, we even have a co-child together. I even had to name one of your drag children. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Nina Levin. The name will hit you. You will get home and you will never forget. I'll just say it that way. Thank you. I um yeah, so that's just that's almost everything that I have. <laughs> Lastly, Hang on to that for I just wanted to say thank you so much for believing in me and for taking a chance on me to open your show and for inviting me to this opportunity and for making me feel at home with my wrinkly ass forehead. <laughs> you just... You brought your own fucking microphone to drop, bitch. <laughs>